Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. And today I want to talk about New Year's resolutions and red flags in dating in the beginning. Okay. What to look for. I had somebody um, say to me, can you do a podcast on in the very beginning? What are some red flags to look for? Okay. Now, I did a lot of this in my podcast, Your Cutoff Game Needs to Be Fierce. So go look back on my older podcast, and I go into more depth about that. But what I want to talk about today is New Year's resolutions, right? Everybody makes New Year's resolutions, and very few people keep them. But yeah, what I want you guys to do is this, okay? I want you to reevaluate the last five years of your life. And think about who you were around, what you were doing, and where you went with that, okay? Because sometimes we don't recognize the mistakes that we made in the past. And in order to transform your life and make your life better, instead of staying in the same spot, you have to recognize where you went wrong, okay? Now, a lot of times we sit there and we blame the people that we had in the past and say, oh, they were a narcissist or, you know, they led me on or they did this or something like that. And I'm not saying they weren't because there's a lot of them out there. But what I am saying is it's up to you to recognize those red flags and to not give these people your time, you guys. Time is valuable. I can't say this enough, okay? Because I'm telling you, you don't realize it when you're younger. When you get older, you look back on your life and you say to yourself, I can't believe I wasted all my time with this person. I can't believe um, I didn't do anything about the red flags. I can't believe I thought this person was going to change and they're never going to change. Okay? Let me just say one thing. People's character are people's character. And this is what a lot of people don't get. A lot of times people are in toxic relationships and they're thinking like, well, you know, maybe they'll see the light, okay? Or maybe they'll change or something like that. You guys, that's why I tell you to look at somebody's track record. If they have a history of not being able to be in a healthy relationship, what makes you think it's going to change now, okay? That's who they are. That's what they've molded themselves to be in. And it takes somebody that's truly woke to realize the mistakes they've made and make a change, okay? So it's not about changing somebody. It's about finding somebody who gets it, okay? And the hard thing with dating today is so many people don't get it. So many people are misinformed because they listen to the wrong people. It's like politics and what's going on and with the way the United States is split, okay? You have two media outlets that are telling you two different things and shaping the minds of people without people really educating themselves and listening to everything and having an open mind and saying to themselves, okay, what makes sense and what doesn't make sense? And let me listen to news that's outside the American media to really understand and get what's really going on, okay? But people don't do this. Because that takes work, all right? And there's a lot of lazy people out there that just take things for face value. So it's the same thing with dating, all right? Don't take people at face value. That's why it takes a little work, okay? And why do we do this? We do this because we don't want to waste our time with the wrong people. We don't want to be heartbroken, okay? Most of the heartbreaks that happen are because people got blindsided. People didn't see that person for who 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 the hell they were, okay? You you look back on a heartbreak and you say you sit there and you mourn the person and you say to yourself, I don't understand it. I did everything for this person. I don't know why they couldn't just love me back. I don't know. Because you didn't see them for who they really were, okay? Or the signs were there and you didn't recognize them. This is what I'm telling you. You know, you got to step back from something. You have to step back from your emotions and look at it in a logical way, okay? When you step back from your emotions, you could see it for what it is. And a lot of people aren't able to do that till they've been away from that person 
you know, they step back and they see it for what it is. That's why a lot of people that get involved with a narcissist, when they're involved with the narcissist, they don't even recognize that they are with the narcissist, okay? So they step back and they're not, they're away from that person. And then they think back about all those things that person did to them. And they realize, oh, that was a red flag. Oh, that was a red flag. Oh, that was a red flag. Okay. So this is what I'm telling you. So now we're talking about a new year, right? So what do we want to do differently this year? We want to set goals, right? Now we are dealing with a pandemic still. Okay. This thing is not going away. All right. So you have to be able to navigate through it. It's much harder. Okay. Like we had one girl that commented on my social media about how she went and met this guy on hinge and ended up getting COVID. All right. This is why conversation is so important. Okay. Don't go running to meeting these people that you don't know the first thing about, okay? They might've just got out of the hospital for COVID for all you know, okay? And now you're putting yourself in their presence. So, you know, talk to somebody and find out information about them, okay? You want to see what their dating history was like. You want to see, you know, uh, do they follow the same safety protocols that you do with regard to COVID or even sexually transmitted diseases? Is this person sleep around a lot, okay? And now you're putting yourself in a position to maybe have sex with them and you don't know where this person has been or who they've been with, okay? So you don't wanna put yourself at risk. You wanna know what this person, a little bit more about this person and what their sexual history has been, okay? You know, only fools rush in. So. When we talk about the new year, it's like this, you guys. It's not easy, okay? I'm not going to candy coat it and say, oh, you know, the prince is on the white horse and this is the year you're going to get married and have that wonderful life and everything like that. I'm going to keep it 100% real with you, okay? What I think you guys need to do is you need to say to yourself, okay, what I need to do is live my life and let everything fall into place, okay? What does that mean? That means that you set your goals. You set your goals as far as if you have children, your priority is your children. If you don't have children and you're a single person with no kids or something like that, you set your goals as to how you want to help yourself, How do you want to help yourself this year? Do you want to save money? Do you want to move to a better apartment or a better house? Do you want to build your brand? Do you want to write a book? You know, do you want to work on yourself, working out and being more healthy? You set short-term goals towards a bigger goal, okay? Now, I'm going to explain to you about how this all wraps into meeting somebody, okay? The way it wraps into meeting somebody is this, you guys. You surround yourself with the right people in the right places. That means that if you have a certain interest, you put yourself around people that have the same interest, that maybe you can meet somebody. That's why I say all the time, you know, taking a class is the best way to meet somebody or doing an interest group is the best way to meet somebody than to be on a dating app among people that are not generally there for relationships, okay? I said this a thousand and one times, all right? You know, you have to think about the world today. The world today is not the world of yesterday. What does that mean? That means that dating apps are not for dating most of the time. They're there, most of the people that are there are there for hookups or scams, okay? So, it you know, you'd really have to do the weed out to find the one out of how many hundreds that are not there and being sincere with you and are gonna waste your time for hours on the phone when really they don't care who you are. They just want to, you know, get some benefit off you, which could be sex or money, live at your place, whatever they could get out of you, okay? That's why I'm telling you, Try to meet somebody in an interest group, but do things that enrich your life, all right? Now, it's hard. 
You're dealing with a pandemic, okay? So what does that mean? That means a lot of things are closed down. That means it's very difficult because a lot of people are in their homes and, you know, things are not thriving the way they were thriving. So a lot of people are online. It's the new world today. A lot of people are online. So you try to meet people online if you can't meet them in person, all right? And meeting today people in person is very hard today, okay? Because people are on their phones and people are focused on online, all right? So that means that, you know, years ago you could go out and people were a little bit more receptive to meeting. Today, they're not, okay? It's very rare unless you see the same person every day. For instance, let's say you take the train into work every day and you're standing on the train platform and you see the same people and you talk to them. That's different. That's a great way to meet people, you guys, is when you live your life and you see the same people and you could strike up a conversation like... In other words, you go and get your coffee at the same place every day, every morning at the same time. You see other people and you say, hi, how are you? And you strike up a conversation. You know, you have a common thing. You're both getting your coffee every time, every day, all right? This is what I'm trying to tell you. But if that's not the case for you, then go online. There's a thousand different Facebook groups and interest groups you could join. There's no guarantee there, but you can make friends, all right? So you say to yourself, okay, it's a new year and everything like that. I'm going to try all these different things. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Your primary focus, your primary focus is going to be on you. And, you know, it's so true. When you are not looking for somebody, that's when something usually happens. I'm telling you guys, it is it is true, all right? I don't know what it is. Maybe you don't give off a vibe that, you know, you're you're thirsty or something cuz you're so involved in your life. Um, but usually if you're, you know, passionate about something in your life, it's, you know, you're passionate about helping people or an organization or your brand or this or that and you get involved in chats or something like that, eventually, you know, people people notice that and they 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 may reach out to you and that's how you strike up conversations as well. But the thing is this, you have to spot when somebody is truly interested in you and when they're not. And a lot of times, a lot of times there are people that give you clues and you don't pick up on it. You have to pick up when somebody's really interested in trying to get to know you, okay? You know, when people take the time to talk to you and try to get to know you and it seems like it's coming off genuine and it's not sexual, uh, you know, sexually based or something like that, you could say to yourself, okay, let me see what this person's about. Let me give this person a chance, okay? And then as time goes on, you'll see whether, you know, they're just a fly by night. That What's a fly by night? A fly by night is somebody who wastes your time, keeps you on the phone the first two days for hours and then just falls off. And that's the last of them because they weren't genuine and really trying to get to know you. Okay. So this is what I'm trying to say. Focus in on yourself and recognize the red flags in the beginning. So now let me talk about some of these red flags. Some of these red flags that you'll deal with in the beginning are this, okay? People are going to come on. They're going to talk to you. They're going to be like, I want to get to know you, okay? All right. How do you want to get to know me? Oh, you know, this and that. I think you're beautiful and everything. What kind of conversation are these people having with you? This this is like the key, okay? Is this person able to have a decent conversation and talk about things that mean something, okay? Because a lot of people will have will, you know, contact you or inbox you and they have nothing to say. They 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 just contact you and and they'll ask you something like, "Oh, are you single?" this and that. "Yes, I am." "Oh, okay." "Oh, all right." And then they they don't say anything after that, okay? They don't follow through. And why don't they follow through? Because they were never real from the beginning, okay? People that are real and want to get to know you will be curious and will ask questions, all right? People that just make idle conversation are people that 
are not, you're not going to go anywhere with that. All right. There are people that are bored and just want to chit chat, the chit chatters. Okay. So when you're dealing with somebody who is a chit chatter, you see in the beginning, you know, you give them a chance, you give them a day or two, you know, you could give them a day, two, three days and see what does this person have to say? Okay. And you also, you know, you can't just sit back and expect the person to do all the work. You have to, you know, you have to get involved in the conversation at all and keep the conversation thriving and see if they are able to bounce back like a tennis game, you know, the conversation and, and be able to really, you know, you guys can connect. You can't connect if you're talking about the weather. You can't connect if you're talking about general things. You connect when you have things in common and you could relate to them. And if you're dealing with somebody that you're not connecting with or they're just making, you know, fluff conversation, you know, you get off there and you they're not asking you anything about you or they're not, you know, able to have an in-depth conversation about something, you know, then you know, you know, okay? Then you know this person is not going to be worth your time. That's where your cutoff game comes in, you guys. Then you don't bother with somebody like that. The problem is a lot of people keep these people around. You could keep these people around for months, years, and go nowhere with them. Just because somebody is contacting you doesn't mean that they want anything more than just to waste your time, This is what a lot of people don't understand because a lot of people will say to themselves, oh, well, they're contacting me, so they must really like me, right? Uh, They like you for whatever benefit you're giving them, which could be, you know, maybe they're bored at work and they they need somebody to talk to because they don't want to sit there by themselves and and stare at their computer. So they figure, you know, I like to chit chat and stuff like that. Stay away from the chit chatters, okay? These are people that don't have a purpose, all right? And if you want your life to go nowhere and stay in the same spot, you'll hang out with people like that. But if you want your world to progress forward, you will deal with people that want have a purpose, okay? You have a purpose, that person has a purpose, and hopefully the two of you can merge together, okay? This is what you need to focus on. So the, the point is, that you're going to focus on yourself. You're going to focus on your health. You're going to focus on your career. You're going to focus on your children if you have children. You're going to focus on your home, doing something little just to improve something that makes you feel better about your home, whether it's decluttering your home, cleaning your home, something that you could say, you know what? I did something today that's going to make me feel better. Okay, instead of being on an online dating app and dealing with one zero after another, I did something for me that's going to make me feel better. Now I have a nice feeling when I walk into my home, you know, I put up a new painting or I did this or I did that or I took a walk or something like that with my dog and I got fresh air and I feel better. Okay, you want to do things that are going to make you feel better and also push you towards a goal, okay? Now, your goal should not be 100% focused on finding somebody, okay? That will come when you put everything else into place. When you put yourself together and you have yourself together, other things start you will attract, okay? This is what I'm trying to tell you. You will attract When you start to feel good and look good about yourself, when you have a different, people give off a different mindset, all right? Like people can pick up when somebody's depressed, when somebody's lonely and everything like that. Like a lot of people that are codependent, they're codependent because they're very lonely and depressed, all right? They don't have anything else going on for themselves. So this is why they're putting all their energy into this other person and this other person becomes everything to them. Never, ever put yourself in that place, 
Okay? So how do you avoid putting yourself in that place? You got to learn to live on your own. That's how. Okay? You've got to learn to be independent. That's how. Okay? You've got to say to yourself, you know what? There's no guarantees in life. Even if I met somebody and I got married to somebody, there's no guarantees that I couldn't end up divorced and then I'd be on my own. So what does that mean? That means you put your fucking self first. Okay? If you're smart. And you know the dynamics of how human beings operate, okay? Yes, some people, they make it through the duration, okay, of being married. And a lot of people don't, all right? So the point is, in either case, you need to be strong within yourself, You need to be strong within yourself, okay? And especially if you want to have children or you have children, they need you to be strong for them, okay? So this is what I'm trying to tell you. You build up yourself. You build up your finances. You build up your health. You build up your relationships with people that are in your life. It doesn't have to be romantic relationships. It could be friends. It could be business groups. Things like that. If you can't do it in person, you do it online and focus on that and then see if they have meetups or events or things like that, okay? And that's how you you center on things, okay? So this is what I, this is what I mean, all right? It's a new year and you have to set different goals and you have to put yourself out there. You have to put yourself out there. If you can't put yourself out there in person, you put yourself out there. You become active in interest groups. This is what you need to do, you guys. Now, the reason that I say this is this, you guys. We are living in a different society today. We are living in the me society, not the we society. So you have to stop thinking in traditional terms today. What does that mean? And I did a podcast on this you know, the me society versus the we society. So so go check that out too. What that means exactly is this. I see constantly, constantly, okay, people trying to meet people and hitting a wall because they meet people that don't follow through, all right? And why don't these people follow through? Because either they're not looking for something serious or they're very, very self, self-absorbed and selfish, okay? So this is, this is the majority of what you have to deal with out there. That's why you see so many people that are single out there having a difficult time trying to date or trying to find a relationship because everything's become so free and easy, free and easy. So it's hard to find somebody that will commit to someone. But they are out there, okay? They are out there. But the thing is, you're not going to beat your head on a wall trying to find it. You're going to work on yourself and, and, and focus in on what you need to do so that you can progress. And that person, if it's meant to be, will be in your circle. You see what I'm saying? They will come into your circle because you're doing the right things. You're putting yourself in the right places and you're putting yourself around the wrong people and you're deleting the wrong people. You're deleting the wrong people out of your life. And let me tell you something. There's so much information out there about narcissistic people. And you you guys, you need to go out and educate yourself on these people. What does it mean exactly? It means you're dealing with a self-absorbed, selfish person that puts themselves first. And these are the type of people that you need to avoid, okay? And the way that you see through the bullshit with these people is the minute that they can't take accountability for their actions or the minute that you feel that this person is putting you down or can't give you a compliment, Okay, because they're insecure. That's why I tell you to stay away from insecure people. They are the worst people to have in your life because they will try to take you down because they are jealous. All right. So stay away, whether it's your friends or, you know, guys or if it's the other way, a guy meeting a woman, insecure people. Watch out for these people because these people will not build you up. They're going to want to see you fall, all right? Because they're insecure and your success is a threat to them, okay? You got to watch out for these kind of people, you guys. I'm telling you, all right? You know, a narcissist 
is basically an insecure person. That's what they are. They're insecure. That's why they do all these things. Because they're so broken inside that they say to themselves, you know what? I'm just going to cheat on you so that if you cheat on me, I don't get hurt by it. Okay? That's how a narcissist operates. A narcissist doesn't care about your feelings. They care only about their own feelings. A narcissist doesn't care about discarding you, okay? Because you're of no use to them. So what does that boil down to? That boils down to you're dealing with a selfish, insecure person, okay? So when I talk about red flags, you better recognize these red flags. And I'll give you an example of this. A girlfriend of mine was dealing with this guy. He sends her a picture. She gives him a compliment. She tells him how handsome he is. Oh, that's very, you know, and she sends him a picture and he can't say one fucking nice thing about her picture. He just says, okay, you know, whatever. And see, that that tells you you're dealing with somebody who can't give you a compliment because they don't want to flatter your ego because they're so insecure that they don't want to leave themselves open to being vulnerable to compliment you, all right? You don't want somebody like that. That's a red flag in the beginning. If somebody can't compliment you, okay, then you know you're dealing with somebody who, you know, doesn't want to build you up. Get rid of them. Get ri- And she got rid of this dude because this dude was only bad news. He talked about, oh, all women are crazy. Anybody that talks like that is broken and ignorant. Broken and ignorant, all right? And it could go the other way. Women that say all men are this or that. That is somebody, to, to say all men are this way or all women are that way, that is somebody who's a damaged person that got hurt by somebody and is still feeling the hurt, that doesn't have an open mind to go in a relationship with you. And those are the people that you steer clear of, okay? Because all the hurt that they've had in their past, they're going to immediately project it on you, okay? Because if you do one thing, they're going to throw you into that classification and say, oh, you're just another crazy woman because you called them out on their bullshit, all right? So you see any signs like that, like, oh, you know, all my exes, oh, they were all crazy, okay? Or something like that. Get rid of that person. Believe me when I tell you, I'm speaking from experience. Get rid of that person. That is a broken person that is going to eventually throw you into that lump. And there's a reason why that person can't be in a relationship, all right? Because the problem isn't their exes. The problem is them. The problem is that they don't want to take accountability for their actions. And in a lot of cases, they made their exes crazy. But they, they, can't, they can't take the, you know, the accountability or own it. So what are they going to do? They're going to blame their ex. Those are the people that you got to watch out for, okay? Those are the people that you got to watch out for. Believe me when I tell you, okay? So those are some of the red flags, you guys. Now, besides conversation and everything like that, they need to be able to have an intelligent conversation, all right? They need to be able to, you know, have some depth to them, all right? You also want somebody who's humble, all right? Somebody that's not arrogant, somebody who, you know, can humble themselves because a humble, a person that can humble themselves is a person that can give, all right? People that can't humble themselves are people that are not willing to give a lot of the times. So, you know, it's good when you have somebody that, you know, can do these kind of things so that you could really connect with them. See, a lot of, a lot of problems with relate, well, a lot of problems with dating is that there are so many hurt and damaged people out there and they have that wall up. Okay. And they've got to be open to, you know, bring that wall down. And that takes time. That takes time, you guys. That that's why conversation, you keep having conversation with that person. And, you know, they've got to be consistent. You know, a lot of the fake ones, they'll come on strong the first two days, three days, and then they fall off because they're not they're either not looking for something serious or they're one of those that are 
really critical and you, you said something they didn't like. So now they're going to put you on the back burner and start talking to somebody else and then come back to you when the grass isn't greener. All right. So that's why I'm telling you, you got to deal with consistent people. They got to be consistent every day contacting you and, you know, want to get on the phone with you to talk to you. It's like getting to know a new friend. Look at it like that. And they should be doing that. If they are just touch basing, touch basing with you, okay, they're not really serious in trying to get to know you, all right? That's just a fact. Like I had some woman come on uh, my social media and she goes, well, that's not true. You know, we're all busy in our lives and everything like that. You know, sometimes people can't get back to you for days. And I was like, are you kidding me? They can't get back to you for days. It takes less than 30 seconds to send a text, all right? That is an excuse. And don't let anybody give you that bullshit, all right? It doesn't take long to send a a 30-minute text and say, listen, you know, right now I'm busy with my kids and everything, but I have, you know, time in the morning and we could talk for like 15, 20 minutes, all right? I have kids. I know how, believe me, nobody could be as busy as I am with, with, you know, dealing with a special needs kids and, and kids and schools and all this other stuff. And if I want to find time, I find time, okay? So anybody that gives you that BS excuse like, you know, people are busy in their lives, well, no, it's not that people are busy in their lives. It's that you're not that important to to put into their life, okay? So if they're not making you a priority and trying to get to know you, then guess what? They're make, not making a priority into having anything else with you, all right? And that is a huge red flag. You guys got to pick up on these red flags, Got to pick up on them, okay? Now, another huge red flag is when they're always bringing sexual reference. I mean, this is common knowledge. Everybody should know that. Nobody should be bringing sex up to you, you know, in the very beginning. What's the very beginning? The At least the first month, okay? At least the first month of constant talking every day. If they do that, you know, right away, sex is on the brain. That's what they want. That's what they're focusing on you. They're looking at you. They're lusting you. And they're not interested in the other side of you, which is your internal self and trying to get to know who you are. Okay. Red flag. Recognize that you guys don't think, oh, you know, by the third, fourth conversation, it's okay for them to bring up sex. No, no. All right. No. They put on the act for three days and now they're going to test you. This is how they test you, all right, to see how receptive they are. Then they know whether it's easy to get something off you or not, all right? So never fall for that. You want to find people. The only way you're going to know, you guys, like I said so many times, is you got to, they got to last the duration. They got to last the duration of three months and being consistent with it you know, on a regular basis, talking to you daily, making conversation, not just good morning, beautiful, good night, beautiful. You know, what did you eat today? Beautiful. Not just stupid conversation, but talk to you like your friends would talk to you. Hey, what's going on? What's new? You know, what's new with you? What's going on with this? If they can't make, you know, conversation to talk to you like somebody would talk, like your friends would talk to you and they're just, you know, giving you the token text to string you along, that is a red flag. You got to recognize that, you guys. You got to recognize that. If you're getting somebody that's con- contacting you every day, but they're not saying anything worth anything, then that's what they're worth. They're not worth anything because they don't have anything worth anything to say, okay? That's why I tell you, what is coming out of their mouth? If you let me tell you something you guys, I'm going to give you a huge tip. If you are really smart and you are really sharp, if you listen to what comes out of these people's mouths, you are going to know exactly who that person is, all right? And if you match that up with their actions to see if they're what they're saying matches up to their actions, you are going to know who that person is, all right? People are re- who are real follow through. People that are real are consistent with it. People that are real make time to see you on a regular basis, all right? It's as simple as that. It's just, so once you find yourself trying to figure out somebody is the minute that you know that you're not dealing with a real one, okay? If you got to sit there all confused and you're trying to figure out, 
I don't know if they like me. I don't know if, if he likes me. I don't know, you know, like he shows me likes me, but, you know, he's not really asking me out this weekend or something like that. Then, then you know, then you know, this person is not 100% into you, okay? Or they're talking to other people or they have somebody, okay? People that are 100% are not gonna leave you in the dark. Believe me when I tell you, they're not gonna take a chance of losing you to somebody else, so let me just say this in sum, you guys. The whole um, point of this podcast is this. It's a new year. Let's make it a productive year. Let's work on ourselves and what we want to accomplish, our little goals to our ultimate big goal, which I said could be even saving a few bucks, if you can, $5 even here or there, okay? Something that moves your life forward or doing, having a 10 minute walk a day, something along those lines, or, you know, doing something to improve your living situation, maybe cleaning out your closet, cleaning out your refrigerator, something that is a positive thing in your life. You're going to move forward. You're not going to sit on social media 24 hours a day and waste your time. You're going to do something that's going to make your life a little better. And you're going to put yourself around people that you can have a mental connection with, okay? Not just, oh, they're sexy in their picture. Somebody who's sexy in their picture that doesn't mean shit, okay? That does, although they look nice and they may be good in the bed, okay? That's about all they're good for, all right? That's, you know, wham, bam, thank you, man. But other than that, you can't sit and have a conversation with them. They're not gonna follow through with you. So what good are they? What good are they? You want you want just casual sex? Then don't expect all the rest, Okay. So this is what I'm saying. You work on yourself. You put yourself, you know, in those interest groups. You do the best you can to improve your own life. And you surround yourself in the right places with the right people. And hopefully, you know, it's a lot of luck too, you guys. It's a lot of luck. A lot of people have met somebody and it's been because of luck, all right? Because they were in the right place around the right people, all right? That, that is crucial, that is crucial. A lot of people that have been in bad relationships, it's because they put themselves around the wrong people. This is so true. Oh my God. I, I, let me tell you something. I'm living proof of this because I did put myself around the wrong people and that's why I got bad results, all right? Because I wasn't working with somebody that was worth working with, okay? Okay. So recognize that. And what do I mean by the right people? I mean, people that have a good head on their, their shoulders, people that could take care of themselves, people that don't bring problems into your life. You don't want somebody that's a problem. You want somebody who adds to your life, not somebody that sucks the life out of you because of all their problems, because they can't get out of their own way and they're a mess and they're going to lean on you to, to lift them out of the hole. All right. If you see somebody who's in a bad position or something and they've been that way for a long time or that's their track record, that is somebody that you cannot work with. Recognize that. Recognize that, all right? And recognize people that are not serious, all right? If, they, if they're, you know, playing with other people's feelings, they're going to play with your feelings. Recognize their patterns. This is what I'm trying to tell you, okay? But number one Work on yourself, number one, okay? And say to yourself, that's great if somebody comes into my life and we can mesh and, and have a great life, but if it doesn't, guess what? Guess what? I still moved forward in my life, in my career, with my, you know, with who I have around me, in my relationships, with my friends, with my family, with, you know, whoever you have around you, you still have those other relationships to fill your life, Okay, you're moving forward. So I hope that helps you. If it did, hit the subscribe button and share the podcast. Have a great day, guys. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz. And I want to tell you about my two books on Amazon. The first book is Regain Your Power. 
It's all about power and relationship. Who has the power in the relationship? And it goes into all of that, okay? The other book is Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time, okay? Check it out. It gives you a lot of good clues as to whether you're with somebody who's a real one or somebody who's just going to waste your time. You could read them both with Kindle's free trial membership. So check it out. Link is in the podcast description. Hi, you guys. I just want to make you aware that the Game Exposed podcast now has their merchandise available. You can check out the link in the podcast description. There's hoodies, there's sweatpants, there's t-shirts, there's cool hats. So go check it out. Link is in the podcast description. And follow Yaz on Instagram at dating underscore advice underscore Yaz.